Okay, hi guys. Well, as you know, we are going through unprecedented times, times we've never had before. This is for the UK, and especially for the UK and America, it's sort of the start of this as well, so we're not really even into it as such. So my first word for this beginning of this video is obviously take care. Do everything you can to keep yourself safe. Listen to the government's advice. If you've never watched news before, i.e. you're watching news on the internet or you're going through Facebook or Twitter or one of the social media sites, don't rely on that. Read or watch the news on TV. So watch normal news, BBC, ITV news. Take the advice that the Prime Minister's giving you. Remember, social distancing, washing your hands, using soap and water, and hand sanitizer if you can't use soap and water, but soap and water's the best. And just do everything you can to protect yourself. Now, I know a lot of people out there will be worrying about it. I know there's somebody I know very well, somebody I love very much, that will be worrying about it an awful lot. And, you know, if you somehow manage to watch these things, then I really, really, really am gutted that I'm not there to be able to help you. I'm absolutely devastated. I can't be there to support you, to protect you and to look after you. It is absolutely killing me inside. But I just want you to be very safe. I'm just hoping you're doing everything you possibly can to protect yourself and keep yourself safe because I really, really hope you do keep yourself safe. Not just you, your family as well, and obviously little and, and so on. You know, you really need to make sure you're safe, secure, and you're okay and you're doing everything you can and I know you're worrying about it and if you are worrying about it we you know we will get over this at some point I don't know how long nobody knows at the moment nobody knows when there's a great future for everybody to look forward to after this um, we don't know how long it's gonna last but just look towards it ending and what can happen afterwards so please just be careful and look after yourselves So it's my day off in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic and I'm taking the cat for a little trip. I say a little trip, it's not so exciting for the cat as it is for me. Me, it's just a nice bit of fresh air to get out. The cat's not so happy because it's his health check at the vet's and that means jabs as well. Well, them things have got to be done. Strange it's about time it needs doing now and who knows, you might not be able to get in there in a few days time. And just in case you was wondering about the hair, Obviously, um, it's in transition period between going cut and green. Therefore, it's in lovely blonde. I don't think you're over impressed, are you, Louis? Louis. I'm getting the impression you probably know where we are, don't you? So we've got the limpest of limp cats, haven't you? Come in here, just go flat, flop, don't want to do anything. Lucky he never runs away. But neither is he overly happy about it. He's all right. Not going anywhere, are you, Louis? Well, what was I saying about the COVID virus? Um, Vets is okay, but it's got a sign saying that due to the virus, only one person per time, you go in, sign your name, or you don't even sign your name, you just announce who you are, and then they um, call you in the car park to go in and do your treatment. Which I suppose is sort of, you know, it's going to sort of stuff like it's going to happen. At least they haven't closed down. He doesn't look too impressed, but I suppose he doesn't look too happy, unhappy either. Anyway. So for me, personally, that was the last time I'd got to take the cat out. Um, I didn't realise how much things were going to lock down, but then didn't realise how stupid people were by going out and mingling and partying and doing all the things that they were told not to do, which is why the government shut down virtually everything in the way of um, outside events. If you can, obviously the idea is you're going to stay indoors now. So for me, I'm not being signed off work. We're not being told to go home or anything like that. So, but if I do get told that I've got the watch videos to edit and do, still what if you want watch videos to put out, I'm still going to carry on doing the vlogging because it gives me something to do and it gives people who subscribe something to watch, a slight escape if anything. I'm not exactly that interested now, am I? Um, and of course you are allowed to go out and get fresh air. You need to go out and get fresh air so you can go out for walks as long as you stay two metres apart from other people. So you don't congregate where there's lots of people. In theory at the moment, obviously we don't know how things are going to go, but at the moment you could go out and walk so I could take out the camera, take pictures, videos and even the drone. I work and the company I work for staying open. We're not an essential company, we don't do essential things. However, the company that I work for like to think that they're essential and they're trying to get the government to make them essential so they don't have to shut, um, because obviously they don't want to lose the money. So for that, they want to keep us all working as long as they possibly can. We can only do what we can do. Um, I mean, I'm looking at most places around the world. If you look at New York behind me, 
Times Square up there is um, pretty much dead as a door now. It's probably mid-afternoon in New York and it is absolutely silent, you know. Most places have been put on lockdown. If we get put on lockdown, then it will just be a case of sitting in here and doing this. I've also got some more um, tech review stuff, a little bit of tech review stuff to do. I've got books and things. There's all sorts of things I could do. There's the constructor camera that I've never actually got around to constructing. So I've still got that to do that I can still build. Um, it's all sorts of stuff I want to do. I said I want to keep. I will keep watching YouTube, but I want to keep watching YouTube not for news. I don't think news is probably the best thing to watch on YouTube unless you're watching official government sources. So I think I watch it for entertainment value, sort of an escapism to see what's going on other than the COVID nineteen virus. So other stuff that are going to keep people entertained whilst they're at home and whilst they're protecting themselves. Obviously, those people that are vulnerable the elderly and people that are generally have underlying health issues should be staying indoors anyway now shouldn't be going out unfortunately you haven't seen that in the workplace and retail you still see a lot of people who are coming out that really shouldn't be they should be at home which is quite worrying personally I'm, I'm classed as vulnerable in the fact that i have had a chest infection and i have had bronchitis twice so i'm not off the vulnerable list but at the same time i'm not case of I'm having to go home and stay away from work it's just a case of I've got to be careful keep my distance and if I do get it I've got to let people know straight away and seek help straight away but that's the same for a lot of people a lot of people out there have got asthma um, COPD other underlying health issues that they should really look after themselves and be really careful about it all so obviously I was trying to get out and do some videos I did say to you in the last video I was going to get out and do some stuff didn't expect this to go the way it's gone. Obviously, it's been going on since just after Christmas, but I didn't expect us to, well, to be affected as much as we have been. Clearly, we are. We could be like this for the next 12 to 18 months. We don't know. So I shall take things as they come. As I said, I'll, you know, I'll let you know. I will do videos. If I can get out, I'm allowed out, I will. Obviously, in the meantime, whilst I'm working, I still don't get much chance to video because I'm working. So really hope you all take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves. Make sure you do everything you're instructed to do and just do everything you can because this thing is bad. This is gonna hurt and kill a lot of people. Um, we're, as I said, we're at the start over here. There's already nearly 5,000 people dead in Italy as of today. Today is the 21st of March. I hope that we don't get to that stage, but you know, there's signs are we probably could, we don't know, maybe worse. So please, please, please look after yourselves and be careful. Leanne, please, I just want you to be safe. I want you to be okay. Just make sure you really, really look after yourself. Keep If you need to stay in your room, keep yourself in or whatever. I, I don't mind, you know, it's up to you. I mean, I, I cannot to do anything at all in your life. I'm, I am, as far as you're concerned, completely out of your life and a completely different person, but I still care. I still love you, so I still worry about you. So obviously, and I said, I'm, I'm devastated. I'm not there to look after you and to protect you. Just please, not for my sake, but for your families and for everybody else, you just look after yourself, make sure you're safe, make sure you're protecting yourself, you're doing everything you possibly can to get through this and get through this safely and come out the other side happy and smiling and everything you should be. Okay guys, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. I will post more watch reviews. I'll post more vlogs when I do them. I've still got the Kersney Abbey drone footage film to make that I haven't quite finished yet. And I mean, we've sort of done a bit more to it, but not a lot. I will get through that. I'll even find some music for it. Got to try and find some music for the watch ones I'm doing at the moment. Um, but see you soon and look after yourselves.